ketika mengambil tinggal siap dan continue dan buat siap so if you have your Bible turn with me in Isaiah chapter 2 and in Isaiah chapter 2 we are going to see a very beautiful story we are going to see a very beautiful story of a man who was told to marry a hermit and this is so beautiful because the picture of the place was the amazing love for God before we begin our study today let us pray gracious and honor of Father we are so grateful so thankful thank you Lord for you being so kind to us show us your mercy show us your love you have given us life you have given us energy
So the other side, he was speaking and saying that today we are looking at this story of a man by the name of Hosea. And I say that you can summarize the book of Hosea with this new word, the amazing love. And as you have said, let me be once again that we are going to divide our next one into three portions. Verses 1 to 5, we are going to see the unfaithful number. Verses 6 to 13, the faithful number. And verses 14 to 23, the first number. Now, this is what I am hoping and aiming that at the end of this lesson, may we all be able to answer this question. How is your nerve story? How is your nerve story? Now, when I speak about your nerve story, don't get the idea of the nerve between a man and a husband, or between a friend or family. I'm talking about your nerve story, and that is the story of your nerve with God. How is your nerve story? If your story was to be written down, or if God was to pen down your story with Him, how would it be? So, I want to challenge you this morning, even as we go through the book of Hosea chapter 2, that you will also be able to, in your heart and in your mind, be able to write down your own story. How is your love story? And I want to challenge you through the book of Ephesians chapter 3, verses 19, which says that you may know the love of God, which passes all knowledge. That you may know the love of God, which passes all knowledge, and that is Ephesians 3, 19. Let's read verses 1 to 5 of Hosea chapter 2. It says, Bring charges against your mother, bring charges. For she is not my wife, nor am I her husband. And let her put away the hand of me from her side, and her adultery from between her breasts, unless I strip her naked and expose her as in the days she was born, and make her like a wilderness, and set her like a blind man. And slay her with lust. I will not have mercy on my children, for they are the children of Hanot. For their mother has played the Hanot. She has conceived them, has, she has conceived them, has behaved, behaved shamefully. For she said, I will go after my lovers who give me my bread and my water, my womb and linen, my oil and my drink. To Jezia, he is a person who 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 is a is a person who is a is First, the man between Hosea and Goma, and within that story of Hosea and Goma, to know that the man between God and his nation is nine. But also, in a go to a next time of speaking about your story of now, the story of your now between you and God. Now, we say that Christianity is a relationship. Now, I just want to say, I'm back to Christo Yusiano. What we simply mean is that it is a relationship of love between you and God. And that is what we say by that you and I, as a Christian, is a man stony. On a daily to day basis, on a daily basis, you are living a life that can be called a man stony between you and God. Because if you are a Christian, then it means you are in a relationship. With God, with Jesus Christ, and with God, the Father, the Holy Spirit. Now, how about you are in verses 1 3 to Nambiwa? If I may go back to verses 27, when the Lord began to speak by Hosea, the Lord said to Hosea, Go take your son, a wife of Hanukri, and she of Hanukri, for the man has committed great Hanukri by departing from the Lord. And so, when the Bible says that this nation or this people have departed from the Lord, now, when the Bible says that this nation or this people have departed from the Lord, we see the beginning when you have to one day and then when you have to go to It was just as we say that a journey of a thousand miles 
begins to answer them. Ilikuwa ni hatua moja, hatua nyingine, hatua nyingine. And all of a sudden, when you come here, you look up and put a candle and share the moon. Now, to search people, the moon will be out to be a happy, a kijari, who was Munzi and a Kwanish Shakwaki. And since you are here to come down highway now, God and Chakwa to be a Maisha to Kwa Pati of Jume. It is all to call in a special message to Malabia to be a Zenke to Fanego and a Mombia Nama. Pani huu kwa miaka hii Fanya hivi ya nambia kusia Atika yao kutika kwa ya seni And so sometimes God do speak to us In a way to as a neighbor When Jesus and Iwana ambia watu Kutika chara kini sana Na kwa ambia those who enter the kingdom of God God shambi na hivi Chika So God sometimes anasimunza By illustrating his message And in this case Hiwa ni wanafanya Illustrating his love to these people Using Hosea and Goman Verse 3 ya chapter 2, ambako tunanzi ya siku ya leo, inasema hivi. Bring charges against your mother, bring charges. For she is not my wife, nor am I her husband. Let her put away her hand from her side. In her adultery from between her place. Let her strip her naked and expose her as in the days she was born. And make her like a wilderness, and set her like a primer, and slay her with us. Now, bring charges against the mother, the take mashaka. Now, the mother way that we have can be best explained. Sihi mama yenu, sihi mama yenu. Plead with your mother, plead with your mother. It is the man now speaking to you, it is possible. And then you can see he, in your way, the one who should not be, but you must not be. Now, remember we said that, Ama, it was your last time, to listen to Ama, in the Bible, God uses the nation of Israel, in the way they were Munke Ama Bibi Yamungu, he was the wife of God. Now, just like what you have been doing, the physical marriage, and what you have been doing, and what you have been doing, any time what you have been doing, and what you have been doing, and what you have been doing, God has been doing, and what you have been doing, it was a spiritual adultery. Na nikosa na mambia, let her put away her hand on me, speaking of the man, but also speaking of the nation of Israel, let them put away their hand on me, because wawo kama taifa pia, walikuwa wanafanya ushenati, walikuwa na kingu mamaya, in that to kiende next story ya komba, walikuwa wana udu nyungu mingine, the gods burn and other gods. And so God to them wana sema, hey, that is also umanaya, hodi ushenati, Uli manaya Na wakati na ambia Hosea na sema wacha umbe umanaya He is also speaking to the nation of his life In the book of James James chapter 4 verse 4 James haki umbia na Haki adike the church na umbia Adulterers and adulterers Manaya If I use that word It's kind of a harsh word But he just said here When our heart is speaking And sema nini manaya kwa kiume na wakike hamtu ya kwamba kundugu wa mafrenshi with the world is enemy to the God and so anytime a Christian here anajiusisha katika unimwengu na kupeno unimwengu the Bible also won't start adultery the doctrine of the Jews for four adulterers and adulteresses do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God so to know that the nation of Islam they became harlots by worshipping other gods. For us as Christians, we become harlots when we begin to engage with the world, when we begin to form friendship and partnership with the world. Then it can also be said of us, adulterers, adulteresses, because when we do that, we become enemies of God. Now, let me read up to verses 5, when the verse 3 is in and I said, strip her naked and expose her as in the day she was born and make her like a wilderness and set her like a dry man and slay her with lambs. I will not have mercy in her children for they are the children of her of faith. For their mother has played the hand or she has conceived them has behaved shamefully. For she said, I will go after my lovers who give me my bread and my water, my womb and my linen, my oil 
from that point you now to the India, from verse 6 to 13, and now you can see now Hosea, the side of Hosea, what she's saying, he's saying at Fania. Verse 6 and the man. Therefore, behold, I will hedge up your ways to come and mourn her in, so that she cannot find her path. She will chase her lovers, but not protect them. Yes, she will seek them, but not find them. Then she will say, I will go and return to my first husband, for then it is better for me than now. For she did not know that I gave her green, new wine, and oil, and multiplied her silver and gold, which they prepare for bar. Now, Mbuka tunasema that this is a stony, a mouth stony. And in this mouth stony, you can see three parties. First we see Goman and Hosea, then we see Go, the nation of Israel, which they are so open that Wakati, in Ongya Kusu, Hosea and Goman, you cannot understand, if you are not king, always you can distinguish, because God is using the story of Hosea to turn his story with his nation. But also, to us, it is speaking about the relationship that we have with God. So, it is actually a tale of an old story. When he says, therefore, behold, I will hedge up the way with thorns and one, that she cannot find her. Therefore, behold, I will hedge up, hedge up the ways with thorns and walls, and mourn her in, so that she cannot find her path. She will chase her lovers, but not protect them. Yes, she will seek them, but not find them. Then she will say, I will go and return to my first husband. For then it is better for me than now. Now, this also in Atlantia, the way God permits. Wakati tuna iba hapa, who's the next man? Ama, the faithful man. Na tuna sema, there's no mountain. You cannot pray. Whatever wall you can't kick. Darkness you can't light. In order to an extent of showing us the amazing love of God. And this is exactly what we say, saying, I will do this just with one goal in mind, to try and win her back to me. I will warm her in. I will make, ensure that she is not able to chase her lovers and protect them. And now remember, even as you say, saying this, this is also God speaking about the nation of Israel. This is what I'm going to do. I will warn them in. I will ensure that they are not able to overtake them. Until they return to me, my, to me, for then it was better for me than now. Verse 8, and let's pass it to me up to verse 8. For she did not know that I gave her great new wine and oil and multiplied her silver and gold, which they prepared for burning. Therefore, we need time and take away my grain in its time and my new wine in its season, and we take back my own and my linen, given to cover her nakedness. Now, I will uncover her nakedness in the sight of her mother, and no one shall deliver her from my hand. I will also cause all her mouth to see her feast. Her feast day, her new moon, her Sabbath, on her wedding feast, and I will destroy her vine and her fig tree, of which she has said, Then these are my wages that my neighbor have given me, so I will make them a furnace, and the beast of the field shall eat them. I will punish her for the days of burn, but one sema, I will walk in me. This is a Jacob from Nikia. Here, he can put a new band in her way, and he can put a new band in her way. Now remember we are speaking about the amazing love, and not just any other love, the amazing love of God towards us human beings. And this is what exactly what God does to us who are unfaithful. And when we speak about our love relationship with God, remember God becomes the faithful lover and we become the unfaithful lover. Now, this are things that God can do to win us back to his man. We want to see, and say, Mother, we try to protect them. We are going to take a little bit of a kid. We are going to take a little bit of a kid. And we are going to take a little bit of a kid. We are going to take a little bit of a kid. We are going to take a little bit of a kid. 
Mungu anataka ama anataka ukundwe jambo fulani but she's the one who's been loving me so much and giving me this thing and if you are blind enough that you cannot see the map of God watching him and I pray God as a man hata hii itaiondoa kama hii inakusudia kuwa na upendo wangu nitaiondoa kama hii inakusudia kufikia nitakufanya hata usiweze kufikia and that is the simple message from that verse going forward now verse 14 to 23 to na wote choose to call fast now because kutoka hapo tu tuko tukiona complaints about command but now we have to start to see a complaint of what God is going to do with the nation of Israel after I deal with them this is how they will be now let's read from verse 14 the same therefore behold I will amua him how I will bring her back into the wilderness and speak comfort to her. I will give her her vineyard from there. And the valley of Arco was a door of hope. So she shall sing, she shall sing there as in the days of her youth, as in the days when she came out from the land of Egypt. And it shall be in that day, sister Lord, that she will call me my husband and no longer call me my master. For I will take from her mouth the name of Bar. And they shall be remembered by their name no more. And that day he will make a covenant for them with the beasts of the field, with the birds of the air, and with the creeping things of the ground. Bow and sword, bow, and sword of battle, I will shake up in the earth to make them lie down safe. From this point, Mwana Mungu wa Mianza Kwa Kuna B goes to the future kingdom that is to come. Like what is going to happen is that this is how the nation of Israel are doing. They are not going to be able to do it, but then God will say, man, this is what I'm going to do to them. I will hedge them in with a wall of thorn. I will ensure they are not able to overtake their mother. I will withhold rain and dew and oil to them. And then I'll say, man, at the end of it, this is how this will be the result. These people will call me my husband. These people don't know how they want to go to Babylonia, how they want to go to Babylon. A people who are not faithful to God, now they have been changed and they are now a people who love God. Now from this point on, there is something that will happen in the future. Something that we call the Millennial Kingdom. When Jesus Christ comes back in this world to set his kingdom. And in that time to be the nation of Israel, it has been restored back to God. Now it has been a people who love God, a people who want to be with God, and a people who worship God. Now from this point, to turn our back back in that future kingdom, the nation of Israel, what has been become a people who are in first now. Now what is the first now? There is a classic idea that we are the Missouri back to the Dua. What happened when someone knocks someone from a person to the child? wakati unakuwa unapenda mtu kwa wakati wa kwanza and they are start just burning in your desire in you kama wakati uliokoka wakati wa kwanza they are start seeing and passion in you but that is what we call fast now even to ask you want to go beyond you want to now beyond and that is what will happen in the future when god has finally dealt with the nation of Israel and have managed to bring them to himself to now be with these people will be able to now go like never before so hapa na sema verse 14 therefore behold I will amua her will bring her back into the wilderness and speak comfort to her I will give her a vineyard from there and the valley of Akko is a door of hope now that word Akko kama Akko and whatever you pronounce it if you are going to pronounce it exactly Akko means Chabu and I say Makatiba Bonde and Mashiba a door and the valley of Akko is a door I will keep her her vineyard from there and the valley of Akko is a door of hope Mungu anasema ya kwamba atawapatia bonde na shida kama mlango wa tumaini. And that is exactly something how God do. He uses shida mangaiko kutupatia tumaini. When sometimes we do straight from God, sometimes when we have shida zikuje, it's our nights. Unapatia kongo na kutia mambo magumu. 
we can say that you are in the valley of echo, you are in the valley of shadow. And it is at that time, sometimes for many, they do happen to remember that there is God. And they find their hope back in God. So sometimes God and at least Shida would do Najisha Kwake. Amunga Nasema, Haya Mashida Mbaki Jaya Bidishia. And remember Kulene Tinasema that the great tribulation, Mbaki Jaya Kwa in the seven years of tribulation. And we can say, Kiyo Kwakati, this nation will be the money of Ekon. And from that then, God will give them hope for the things to come. She shall sing there as in the days of her youth, as in the days when she came up from the land of Egypt. And it shall be in that day, sister, know that she will call me my husband, that is her sister, and no longer call me my master. Now you can see from this point that her relationship is being restored. A people who what we call it with difference in God, not in Allah. We may not say, oh, this is God, this is husband. And going on to the Akoma, their perspective is changing toward God. Their relationship with God is becoming much better and much stronger. And that is also the challenge I want to give you this morning. But remember, I say, as you began, that this is the object of our study. How is your mouth stoning? Can it be explained in the verse? Two to five, how many of them is there? What can you tell us about? What are your maps on the ES? And then that's not with it. What is the thing that's a map? For he take from her mouth the name of bands, and they shall be remembered by their name no more. Look at the word from the apostle, the spiritual adult, the man I have to know. And God and the word to accuse, just as. Hosea Mekwaki accused her wife of man, hey, she's a prostitute, she's nothing other men. Then God Mekwaki and the nation of Israel, you are a prostitute, you'll be nothing other gods. How about now, you know, they will put away the names of man from their mouth. And so they were back to the nation of Israel, and even in Babylon, you know, he was in Syria, when they came back from Babylon, the name of birds were removed from their mouth. They did not go back to the idol worship of birds anymore. In that day, however, this will be completed in the United Kingdom. In that day, I will make a covenant for them with the beast of the field, that is for city, with the birds of the air, and with the creeping king of the crown. O and soul of bat, O and soul of battle, I will shatter from the earth to make them lie down safely. That now he did the scripture here, yeah, the magnetic kingdom, because the who found the way is to be a good and that is exactly what he's saying. That during that time, Mishane, Panga, Sikareza, and Jafunjo, Kachwan, and Mwenu. And verse 19, I say, Mark, I will betroth you to me forever, yes, I will betroth you to me in righteousness and justice, in my kindness and mercy. It's not you to me in faithfulness, and you shall know the Lord. Now you can see that these people have now come back to that place where they are able to have God again. And this will be affected and it will be fulfilled in the millennial kingdom. That time, to my the nation of Israel, they will be exalted to God forever in righteousness, in justice, in loving kindness, in mercy. And much more in faithfulness. What I call what we call a benabungu. For now, you observe that from Israel, which are the company who are twenty years old, who are not Jewish, they are big and seen. What we have on a show in Abu, but in the future to come, this will happen when God brings them back into another relationship. Verse 13, I say, man, will betroth you to me in faithfulness, and you shall know the Lord. It shall come to pass in that day that I will answer, says the Lord, I will answer the heaven, and they shall answer the earth. They shall have, shall answer with rain, with new wine, and with oil. And they shall answer Jezebel. Then I will sow her for myself in the earth, and I will have mercy on her who have not obtained mercy. Then I will say to those who will not my people, you are my people, and they shall say, You are my God. At this point, we are going this is a nation restored back to God. We are going to go to the world, 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 we are 
mieć jasność do rozwiązać, jak jest zamieniaśmy się bez koru. Mam pastwi, wajda, czuję się ma the book of a sale. It's about, it's a love story. Na przykład się ma Joanna jako za Christian i został na mal story. Więc macie z nami na relation się do koru. Więc macie z nimi pani na relation się do Jesus Christ. Very amazing. It's a mal story. The question is, how is your mouth stony? If we were to write down your stony of your mouth between you and God, how would it be? Would it be like this story of people unfaithful, a people prostituting, a people who are unfaithful to God? Or would it be a story that says, surely this person loves me with all his heart, with all his mind, with all his strength? This is a person who loves me that your love for God is increasing by day. Ephesians 3, 18 to 19, he gives you a challenge and says that you may know the men, the dead, the willing, and the height of God, to know the love of God which passes all knowledge. I don't challenge you this morning, but you may be this for the amount of judgment spoken in this chapter. Maybe the jury is up. How then are we able to come up with the issue of love? The jury is going to be up. We're going to be up. We're going to be up. We're going to be up. So why not? We're going to challenge us this morning to evaluate our own mind. And to remind us of what Jesus said or what the Bible says. That we love because He first loves. Loved us. We love because He first loved us. If I was to give you a challenge this morning to love God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your strength, with all that you have, with all that you possess, it would be a very difficult task for you. But then I can give you a challenge, and a challenge that will help you to love God. And this is the challenge I want to pose to you. Explore the love of God. Understand the love of God. Study the love of God. Know how much God loves you. That is what the is saying. Know the depth, know the height, know the width of God's love. And when you understand and know the love of God, which passes all understanding, then you will find yourself in the same giving back the same love to God. Because we love, because He first loved us. And when God continues to love the nation of Israel, a time will come and this nation will come back to God and they will be able to love Him. And they will be able to call Him my husband, our God, and they will be in a sole relationship. How is your mouth stony? How is your mouth stony? May your soul be that a man to love God, a woman to love God. May God bless you. Let's be never afraid. Father, we thank you for this wonderful and beautiful morning. As you've been able to consider your message in the book of Hosea, a people who we are departing from you, a people who we are unfaithful to you, a story that is where they picked them to live their life, married to Hosea and to man, an unfaithful wife who went out away or found other mamas, an unfaithful wife who chose not to cling to her husband. And this is how we are, we are like a man in this story. People wandering away from you, people turning our backs from you, and people who sometimes do resist and reject your love. But Father, we thank you that you this morning, that your love is everlasting to us. For you have loved us with everlasting love, and nothing can separate us from your love. That every time, Father, we learn from you, you go chase us, you hate us in, that you may not turn away from you. And the things that enslave us, you may remove them from our life. Sometimes you want us to go through the ground of the core that we find the world of hope. Father, pray for us this morning when we gather in this place. You be for all of us, Lord, we may not be conscious of your love. We may not be conscious in the way of what you're doing in our mind. We ask that you may open our heart. We ask that you may open our mind. That you may be able to find our way back to your love. Help us, Father, to understand the depth, the willing, the height the greatness of your love, that you may also be able to love you because you love us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.